Alright, so how's it going guys? I know it's been a while since I've uploaded a video and I'm sorry about that. I've been super busy with trying to look for college, signing up with courses, getting all that kind of stuff figured out. So I haven't had a lot of time to make videos and everything like that, but I have a lot of great ideas coming up and I have a lot of ideas for project videos that I can make. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be making a schedule so that you guys know when I'm going to be uploading so you guys are in the know so when to expect the next video and everything like that. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be uploading every Monday and every Thursday. So one of these videos is going to be a more informative video. So I'm going to talk about the information on the subject. I'll give you the details, talk about that. And then the next video will be actually about putting that into practice. So that would be making a project and actually showing you guys how it works. An example would be like last video, I talked about rockets. I talked about how they work and different companies that are using them. So then I could make a video about actually making my own rocket fuel and showing you guys how it works, how it burns up, and actually maybe showing you guys how it actually can get up and create thrust. Oh, actually, that reminds me. I actually made a batch of rocket fuel, and uh, why don't I show you guys how that worked out? You just need to be extremely careful with this stuff. I mean, this is chemical reaction going on. It is rocket fuel. It is, it is what we get stuff into space with. So you gotta be careful with it. It is not exactly the safest stuff. Make sure that you take the right precautions to make sure that you are safe and the people around you safe and make sure you follow the regulations of your country or wherever you are located. Hey guys, how's it going? Dalen here. Okay, so I thought I'd do a little bit of a project. So if you've seen the videos by Grant Thompson or some of the other YouTube videos about making sugar rockets, you know that they need potassium nitrate. Combo of sugar and potassium nitrate. So right here, I have stump remover and stump remover has a high concentration of potassium nitrate. Right here on the bottle, it says this product contains potassium nitrate. So I got that, it's about um, 450 grams or so. So got that there. Then I went out and bought my own little uh, portable cooktop electric. And so I can use this guy to make that because I'm not going to use my good stove inside the house because my mother will kill me. So this is this. I went out and I even got a torch right here to be able to light the stuff because I thought it'd probably be a good idea if I didn't use a lighter and just go under it. Probably end badly for me. So, so we got right here. Um, for this thing that we're going to be testing, we're just going to do 100 grams and it's a 60 to 40 ratio. So we're going to have 60 grams of um, stump remover, potassium nitrate, and 40 grams of granulated, granulated white sugar. So I have my cup right here. We'll just put it right on, make sure that we're on grams. We'll put that down to zero. And now we can actually pour in our stump remover. So, just... oh, nope, we're good. We're at 60 right here. So we got 60 grams of potassium nitrate in here. So we'll go ahead and close that up. Now we're gonna add 40 grams of sugar. So I have my white sugar right here and we can just go ahead and do a couple of spoonfuls of this until we get to the correct amount. So we're gonna try and get to 100 grams. So. So one, 101. Uh, we'll just take a little bit of sugar out. Okay, so, oh, well that's probably actually a really bad idea seeing this as potassium. Okay, well, I guess I'll die, I'll die. So we'll just go on here, we'll give this a little shake just to kind of get it all mixed up. And then we'll go ahead and we're gonna turn on the stove here and we'll see what we can get going. So, let's see, we'll turn this guy on. Try and get this to heat up here. You gotta make sure that it's not uh, burning or anything like that because um, you can run into problems, that's for sure. Okay, so basically we'll get our gloves on over here. And uh, now we'll just kind of start stirring it around. The goal here is to get it to uh, caramelize. That's what we want the end result to be. So we're just gonna continue to make it here. It'll start heating up and it'll start going that. But if you start to see it turning a really, really dark color, dark, dark brown, you know, you have to take it off or else it's gonna, it's not gonna end well. So you should probably do this outside as well. Don't do it in the house. 
Uh, it's not a good smell and there. I mean, there's chemicals coming off of this and everything. So it would be a better idea to do this outside on an outside burner, whatever you got. It's probably the best idea. So make sure you got eye protection, make sure you got gloves and uh, might even be a good idea to have some um, respiratory stuff as well. All right, I'll just show you what I have. So this is what it's starting to look like. So yeah, it's really, it's really starting to come together. Okay, so we seem to have gotten what we wanted, which is right here. It's a big kind of gooey ball that we're gonna try and mold to something that we can fit in. Because this is gonna harden in just a few minutes because it's cold outside and uh, this is sugar mixed in there as well so it's gonna harden pretty fast and so right. yeah. see if we can mold it kind of before it's too hot which it really is hot let's go ahead and put this in something and see if we can get a little bit of a reaction so we'll let this kind of cool down Okay, so now we got uh, three pieces, two big ones and one small one. And so I'm going to go find something that we can put these in and see if we can get a little bit of a reaction. Me, my, glog my goggles are, ah, goggles are fogging up. So I think we're done the worst of it. Okay, so guys, right here I have our little piece of um, rocket, rocket fuel that is made of granulated sugar and potassium nitrate. Uh, it hardened really quickly, so I put it in a little ball just to, just to, this is just a test one, so... I'll put it about, about right there, get rid of this stuff. And right here I have my propane torch. So without further ado, let's test this. Hey, that actually worked. Oh, that created a lot of smoke, actually. <laughs> All right, so right here. So we know that this works, and uh, so let's try it on a bigger scale now. Okay, everybody, I have two angles here. I have my phone set up on the side, and then I have this one right here. Um, inside here, I have the potassium nitrate. Inside, I don't know if it's gonna go anywhere. I don't know what's gonna happen with this, but. Um, Give you guys a little bit of a better angle there so you can actually see. Wow. My mom's gonna kill me. Let's do this. <laughs> oh, it's still really warm. See the inside there? My phone got splattered. We're doing this. Okay, everybody. This is scary shit. Let's three, two. Give me phone. It's still going. Hey. So in another video, I'll actually show you guys how to make proper rockets. Now with this video, I just wanted to make a batch of rocket fuel to kind of see how it would work and show you guys how it would work and some, and now you can add different things into it. Iron oxide, you can add sulfur, aluminum, and everything like that. It will help with the burn rate. It'll help with the amount of smoke that you get. It'll help with thrust, depending on that. So there's a lot that goes into it and I'll make a really in-depth video with that, but I just wanted to show you guys some of the rocket fuel I made with my friend here. The first way I did it, it didn't end too well. The second way, I was smarter so make sure that you're safe guys safety is important stay tuned for next video on thursday and enjoy